Trichinella spiralis, also known as pork worm. What is Trichinella spiralis? It is an intestinal nematode that causes trichinosis, also known as trichinellosis in humans. It is the smallest known round worm that parasitizes humans. It is the largest known intracellular parasite. Epidemiology of pork worm. It occurs worldwide, especially in Eastern Europe and West Africa. Route of transmission of Trichinella. Oral ingestion of larvae contaminated tissue is the route of transmission. Sources of infection. Larva contaminated tissue can be found in undercooked pork meat. It is the most common cause of infection in United States. It can also be found in raw or undercooked wild game meat. For example, bear is our main reservoir of Trichinella in Alaska. Life cycle of Trichinella. Humans are infected by eating larva contaminated raw or undercooked meat. Larva reach the small intestine. In the mucosa of small intestine, larvae exist and mature into adults. New eggs hatch within adult female worms, and larvae are released in bowel. Larvae enter the bloodstream and reach many organs. However, larvae of Trichinella develop only in striated muscle cells. They enter nurse cells of striated muscles, where they encyst within a fibrous capsule. They can remain viable in this form for many years, till they eventually calcify. What is trichinosis? It is also known as trichinellosis. It is the infection caused by trichinella spiralis in humans. It occurs in two phases, acute phase, entoral phase, chronic phase, parentoral phase, acute phase of trichinosis. It is also known as entoral phase. It occurs when larvae enters the intestine and develop there. It results in diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, chronic phase of trichinosis. It is also known as parentoral phase. It occurs about a week after acute phase infection. Around the time when new larvae enters bloodstream and enters many organs, especially skeletal muscles, due to their migration through human body. They activate the body's inflammatory response against infections. This results in the appearance of its signs and symptoms, periorbital edema, edema, myalgias, fever, weakness, splinter hemorrhage in the nails is also a common complications. Complications may include myocarditis, central nervous system involvement, for example, encephalitis, stroke, by very rare cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, pneumonitis. Diagnosis. Following tests confirm it. Muscle biopsy. It may be used for trichinosis detection. It will show larval cysts in infected striated muscles. Differential leukocyte count. It will show eosinophilia. Treatment. Anti-helminthics can treat and prevent trichinella infections. For example, drugs like Mepentazole or albendazole. Symptoms can be relieved by use of analgesics and corticosteroids.